In this video, we show how we built a 3D printed animated elf. We used CAD software to design the plastic parts. We began the assembly process by removing the temporary supports from the head. Then both halves were bolted together. A total of 39 3D printed parts come together to create the elf's body. Here's a view of the inside of the elf's torso in the CAD model. Here's a look at the actual torso parts assembled and bolted together. We printed brackets that will be mounted to a pivot shaft, which will be attached to a piece of aluminum tubing. The elf will be bolted to the upper section of tubing, while the drive motor will be attached to the lower section. A scrap piece of wood served as a temporary base for constructing the drive mechanism. The tubing assembly was placed on the wood and a rectangle was measured and marked for the required cutout. Bolt locations for the leg and torso were marked on the aluminum tubing, and the holes were drilled. We designed and printed a motor bracket to securely mount this 12-volt DC gearhead motor to the drive system framework. A connecting collar was installed on the shaft, then linkage was fabricated to convert the motor's rotational movement into reciprocating motion, allowing the elf to move back and forth. When the drive mechanism was tested for the first time, we discovered that the linkage attached to the motor was too wide to clear the shaft nut. We printed a narrower version of the linkage and replaced the original part. The second test run was successful. Note that the motor was secured to the platform using a clamp. After the successful test, holes were marked and drilled to mount the motor to the platform with bolts.
The excess tubing extending beyond the linkage was marked and cut. Then we mounted the elf onto the tubing, starting with the leg and working our way up. During the first test run with the elf fully installed on the drive mechanism, we discovered that the motor was underpowered and that the leg and arm parts did not fit together tightly enough resulting in poor mechanical performance and jerky body movement. We replaced this original motor with a 24 volt motor that provides five times the torque. The first test with the new motor looked good. We reinstalled the ELF using newly printed arm and leg parts that fit together much better. The new motor installation, along with the improved fit of the arm and leg components, significantly enhanced the smoothness of the ELF's motion. Now it was time to dress the elf for the first time. We purchased a costume made for a three-year-old. We topped it off with a child's wig. Up next, it was time to build the ladder, including the top platform that will house the drive system. Once the top platform was constructed, the drive mechanism was removed from the temporary platform and transferred to the new one. A large opening was cut to provide access to the pivot shaft hardware for installation and maintenance. The holes were marked and drilled and the pivot shaft brackets were bolted in place. Then the motor was aligned and screw locations were marked and drilled.
Next, the lower portion of the ladder was constructed. The holes were marked and drilled for the carriage bolts that secure the top platform to the ladder. We selected a 24 volt, two and a half amp power supply to deliver the required current to the motor and we'll use this switch to turn the ELF on and off. We fabricated a switch bracket using one and a half inch aluminum angle. We also used one and a half inch aluminum angle to fabricate a mounting bracket for the power supply. Prior to this point in the project, the motor was temporarily operated by a benchtop power supply during design and testing. Now it was time to wire all the components together. After painting the ladder red and green and reassembling all the parts, we conducted the final test. As a final step, we added the large red motor bracket you see here and we installed tensioning springs. This helped to further smooth out the movement of the ELF. We also hid the power cord by securing it to the back of the ladder. Here, you can see the completed animated ELF project fully installed, ready to bring a bit of festive cheer to all who pass by. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future content. More videos from our holiday series are available on our channel.